beginning of each turn, the highest domain strength value that you have is going to be what you accumulate in power. Gotcha. And that's the resource that you're going to be able to play your hand with. All right, so that's easy. Okay. And that's a three. Okay. Four. So Okay, so that, that doesn't seem that hard. So I got a four, a five, and a two. So can I use these in combination or only separate from each other? Well, you can also do three. So now if I wanted to use these as an eight, could I use these together or I have to use these separate? They're all separate. They're all separate. So these guys have nothing in common with each other? Nope. Okay, so let's see, four. So I got this and this, which means I can... So in this particular case, everything would be hidden. Let's say it's your turn first. Mm -hmm. You would get five power. Okay. And that's just a banked mechanic. Okay. So you've got five power to spend for this turn. Since it's the very first turn of the game for you, you can't attack me, you can't target anything of mine. It's an armistice. Gotcha. In this, thematically, we haven't discovered each other at this point. So we're kind of just wandering the woods aimlessly, kind of like... Yep, just doing our own little Oh, just squirrel nuts and hunting, you know. <laughs> turn two, veil comes off, blinders are gone, you're bucking everywhere. So in this case, you'll get the five power, you can play anything that you want on your guys, you can move them around. So if you wanted Haley over in the stronghold, you would expend her and then move her. Okay. She would ready at the beginning of your next turn. Gotcha. Alright, so let's see. Five. So I have five. I'm going to use the stealth training on this one. Okay. So that means we're down to one. Yep. Where is the one? There's the one. So I'm going to use that for that. I have one, but I don't think I have any level one. Oh, wait. I have a zero. What does zero do? If you can know fewer creatures than an opponent, put one lower. No, I'm pretty sure it worked. Actually, no, I do. One more than I do. Uh, yeah, so that one doesn't do much for me right now. Uh, let's see. Three, two. Yeah, that. Oh, wait. What's is X10, I'm guessing? Nope. X is variable. Oh, so I can make it one or, or it's random? Yep, you could make it one. I don't remember what that one particularly is. Your card goes from the cost of X from your discard or strategy hand if your entire card is really ship. You may also read a creature in your vanguard. Okay, so that don't want to save that right now, but I'm going to use the stealth training. So if you were to discard that revolution for your Tin King compound, yeah. discard a leadership or manipulation card from your hand. If your army's morale is four or less, gain one morale, which is your domain strength. Yeah. If you already have a five or greater, you can ready up to two tin kin that you control at your stronghold. Okay. So I think I'm going to use just a stealth train for right now on this one right here. Hold off on that till my next turn if I make it to the next turn. And kind of see what happens. Okay. So you'll still have the one because that's going to carry over. Yeah. For me, I will gain five. He's going to summon the Lava Squirrel Guardian of the Domain of Hell or something in the first turn and just obliterate me. <laughs> now, are there any type of uh, deity or god cards with this game at all? Like, no, no, nothing crazy yet? <laughs> yeah, yet. <laughs> so, I'm going to play a trap instead. Okay. Go down to two power. And one thing I've learned before, guys and gals, is that there is a possibility of that he's bluffing. That that could just be nothing and I could risk attacking him or just take his bluff and sit there and go oh, yeah i'm not gonna do crap <laughs> your turn so uh, now you can make attacks <laughs> and you can target my stuff but he has a trap or a a trap big air quotes so now turns going forward you can make any of the attacks you can also bring in recruits okay recruits at a base cost are three power now this is a one, so I gain five every turn? Yep, since five is still your highest domain strength, you're going to gain another five. So I go back to six. Oh wait, I always forget which one's six. That's six. That's six. So I have six now. So I'm going to do something very stupid. So my stealth training, make a creature in control, then mark creature makes a stealth attack, and the infiltration roll is a plus one. When the mark creature attempts to block, is also block plus one. So I'm going to use this creature to attack. Okay, so stealth attacks. You would expend the creature that you're going to attack with and name the target for it. I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna attack... Okay. No idea if that's a good idea or not. 
So for stealth attacks, then the next step of it, since you've named it, I can choose to try and block it. Okay. Which I will try and do. Okay. So I have a plus a one draw. Okay, so let's see what happens. Now, Save that trap card. Now for me, trying to block, I have to roll a die and get greater than your domain strength. Which is a plus one, so I have four. Does the stealth, does that not add to this or no? Nope, that would be yours going against mine. Oh, okay, okay. So if I get a four or better, then I'm screwed. we'll deal 1v1 damage. Okay. If I don't, then you have to roll against my domain a bit greater, then you deal one-way damage. Okay. Three, what's that mean? It's not successful. Okay, so now so I now roll. You roll. And you need a two or better to win it. Oh, okay, come on, five. Two. So that's it, yep, because you got the plus one. So you're going to deal one-way damage to him. Okay. And that is putting Jacko with two damage onto Trip. So there's a little, a little bit of math and counting involved to make sure you keep track of what is happening during the game a little bit. So you got to be able to make sure you add to your counters, check your levels, check your attacks, your stealth. So there's a little bit of memorization involved with this. A little bit. Very, very limited, but it is there. Now, because I didn't block, I wasn't successful in it, and you made the attack successfully, you can decrease my domain strength by one or increase yours by one. I think I'm going to increase mine to four to build my defenses. So, uh, now, I have the six, though. I haven't done anything with that. I raid an attack. Am I able to do anything else, or can I only attack it? Okay, so... So, Jacko would actually be expended. So, he's kind of sleepy. Okay, let's see what I got. I got still six. make another stealth attack with Joe. Uh, you can't target Trick again since he was already targeted. Mm -hmm. You can make leadership challenges. You can. I'm gonna use. Make uh, where would I put a requiem for leadership challenge? So that's an instant. Okay. Each creature you control has plus one will for each card that shares a type. Of Ooh. Ooh. All right, so. But basically, each guy, each one here gets a little bit of a power boost. For, for each dead creature that you have. Oh, dead, so I have to have dead creatures. I think I'm still going to use that, just to see what happens. So that costs me how many? Two? Yep. So I'm down to four. And then... I'm going to do a leadership challenge. Counter and I'm going to play a trap card for later. That's going to cost me four. Okay, so... You already played this. Oh, I played that. You get to add it to a strategy chain or okay, start. So I can add it to like. It would be below it. Oh, below it down here. Yeah, because these would technically these are... be in your hand. Oh, okay. So you'd have your domain, trap locations. Okay. They're just a location. It's not exactly where they're at. Gotcha. And then your creatures, and then your strategy chain. Okay. So now that this is in a strategy chain, mm -hmm. you have the black banner attack. So what does okay. that say now? Oh, black, oh sorry, the black banner. Black banner says. When a, I'm also a bit of a little blind, so this is tiny fun. When a unique creature you control dies, put a will counter on this tactic. Remove a will counter, ready a creature you control. Oh, remove a. Yep. Alright, so, quite of a good bad. So, any creature that you get killed off, mm -hmm. you get to put a counter on there. You get to take that counter off and ready a creature. Awesome, okay, so. <coughs> You can still make a dominance attack, you can still make another stealth attack, you can make up All to right. five manipulation attacks, and you can make one challenge, uh, leadership challenge. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna attack with this guy and attack that one. So for tricks already been Oh attacked once for stealth, so he oh. can't be targeted again. You can target spin or one of the I'll other. I'll spin. Spin? Yes. Okay. So, roll better than a two. Four. So he goes to sleep. Yep. And then he would deal how much damage to him? Uh, I'm trying to figure out the attack. Oh, probably zero. Yep, attack is green. So, stats are might, will, and their health. Gotcha. So it'd be zero, but still, you are successful with the stealth attack. You can increase your domain or decrease mine. Remember, you only have to get mine below one to destroy it. All right, so I'm then going to attack King, and I'm going to attack 
that one. So from the stronghold, those characters can make uh, participate in a dominance attack. Oh, okay. So for that, it's expending one or more creatures, picking a domain, and then turning them sideways. Okay. So I think I can all save up on these guys. And I think I'm going to end my turn and see what kind of happens. So okay. Alright, so I'll gain my five power. That's the highest that I got. Put me at seven. Spin already. And now we can have some fun. So first I'll do a leadership challenge. Okay. And I'll commit Ra to it. Now for a leadership challenge, I'm putting my will in it, which is the blue stat. Mm -hmm. So I've got three plus my domain strength of the council. Okay. So I've got eight committed to it right now. Now it's your turn if you want to add anybody to it. Um, I think not for right now. I, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to risk it just yet. So it'd be an uncontested win on my side. Though. Okay. If I win a leadership challenge for my code, mm -hmm. I get two power. Okay. So I'll go up to nine. And then as the condition for winning a leadership challenge, I can increase or decrease any die on the table. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, note to self. Next time challenge challenge. <laughs> okay. I'll decrease this to three. Okay. And I've got nine power. Let's see. Put down three traps. Ooh. And take them all out. Because Trick gets plus one might and will for each trap that I've got in play. So even if they're bluffs, they're still a benefit. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be some good bluffs. So, all right, so these guys are back in the game. Oh, I got oh. a couple more things oh. I'm going to do here. All right. Yeah, your leg, I know your legs are killing you, too. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and attack Haley with Trick for a stealth. Okay, so that does... i got to get better than a three. Unless... Oh, that's right, you're tapped out. Oh, thanks. It's not going to do it. I'll try with spin on ZZ instead. Oh. And nothing. Oh. All right, so what happened? Nothing. Nothing, okay. I expended two guys for unsuccessful. Alright, so, my turn up? Yeah, I'm done. Alright, so I have these guys come back into the game. And I get five, so I go back, okay? Uh, ba -ba 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 So, I'm going to use this guy first to attack. Um, so these guys I can attack now they're back so I can hit them again? Yep. Okay, so I'll hit the, this guy first. Spin. With stealth. So I need to roll two again? Yep, two or better. Four. So got it. And I'll knock that down to a one. He's going to take, what, two damage? Yeah. I'll knock this down to a one now. And then I can have this guy attack the other one. Can I got a little two again? Yep. Three. Three. So he's getting no and damage for it. Destroyed. Yeah, don't, don't lose the counters. <laughs> so if I destroy all three bases, you destroy two of them. Two of them. Or kill all the creatures or steal all of them. Okay, so next I'm going to attack, use this guy to attack that one. So leadership challenge from the council. Mm -hmm. So then you turn and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, expand it. And you've got one, two, three, four for your will that's going into this. Okay. I can't participate. Okay. Because I don't have anything. Okay. And you would win that uncontested. Okay. So now you get to increase or decrease any domain on the table. I'm going to use that one for. And then uh, this guy can't attack because he's already been hit once. He's been hit. Uh, I can hit this guy though. 
So only only creatures here can make stealth attacks. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Only creatures here can participate and make leadership challenges. Only creatures here can make and participate in dominance. But any of them can make a manipulation attack. Gotcha. Okay, so I guess for now I will end my turn. Okay. These guys are refresh. And I'll gain five power. ZZ then, that'll give you four. How much power do you have left? I have, I haven't touched it, I have 10. 10? So, because ZZ is Ma as well, you can actually pay power to increase the will until end of turn. So I'll basically take it from here out of this. Yep, so for right now, you're actually one less than. So if I bring this down to okay. six, oh, if I bring it to six, I can add, oh, actually I'll make that seven. If I bring it to seven, I can add three. Bringing this to a total of six. If I did that right. Yep. Yeah, it'd be temporary, so it'd still be at a three. Oh. And then you've got seven total to the five that I have. Mm -hmm. So then you would win it. All right. Leadership challenges are the only ones that if you are not the active player mm -hmm. and you win it, you can change any die on the table. To anything I want. Yep, yeah, up one or down one. Oh, okay. I thought you were like, yeah, I just put that to a one. <laughs> so I'll change that to a three. Whoop. And um, yeah. now we'll do a dominance. So dominance, I'll use all three of these guys. Okay. I can't use him because he just came in. And we are going to attack your your land. Okay. So for dominance attacks, um, you have the option to involve your army as well. Okay. By expending any of the ready creatures, that's just going to bring them into the fight, and then our morale will come into play. All right, so I'll include these two guys. So I move them over here. Nope, they just stay there and expend. All right, boop 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 boop. So we've got how much will total? Uh, I'm sorry, might. So the green. Oh, so the green? I'm colorblind, so it's like. Uh, so it's yeah, the second. Two, three, three, four, five. And this doesn't count, does it? No. Okay, so I have five all together with these guys. Five, and I've got one, two, three, four for trick. Five, six, seven. So I've got seven damage going your way. Okay. And you've got five damage going my way? Yep. So you get to assign where you want your damage to go on your guys. Okay. So I'll take one, two, Increase mine by one. Okay. So your turn's over. Yeah, I'm pretty good for this turn. All right. So my guys come back online. All right. All right. So I will. It's funny. He said maybe one or two turns, and now he's roped in. <laughs> I can't help it up. Okay. So I'll still now I can still attack. 
Uh, anyone pretty much? Yep. Yeah, now that you're all refreshed. So boom, I'll attack. So you stop attacking him mm -hmm. with uh, Jacko? Yes. Okay. okay. We'll roll two again. Got to beat. Well, now you've got to roll a three or greater. Come on. Because you got to beat the domain strike. Right. So Jacko would still be expended. But you can still try and attack Spin with Joe. I'll do it again. So three again. Uh, now it's a four or better. Oh, God. Because he gets the plus one with. Oh, with gotcha, that. gotcha. Only a four. Come on, game. Give me a four. I hate, I hate you, game. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so. This is not going my way now. You can still do leadership challenge. How much do leadership challenge? I'll do with this one because that will help me last time. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four right now. And I'll have six. And I'll but you can still spend. Spend. You spend two. three. Oh, I think you spend three? Okay. So I'll go down to four. Then you'll be one better. I'll go over to the four. So boom. And then you would win that. Drop that to two. And this one can or not? Can make a manipulation attack. Let's do it. Um, uh, who do you want to manipulate? Hmm. Probably spin. Spin? Okay, I'll, that would be the easiest one. Okay, I'll try spin. So for manipulation, you'll roll a die. That value plus your will, so is one, mm -hmm. needs to be greater than its domain Two. strength plus the will of the creature that you're. Two plus. So you've got to roll better than you got to get a three or better. Oh come on, die! Give me a break! 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 That dice is rigged. <laughs> it's the third two I've rolled. So that fails. You can still make a dominance attack. I'll try a dominance attack. Values here. I got four and five damage that would be coming back your way. Oh god, this could go bad or worse. Okay, so and remember to be successful, you need to deal more damage. Yeah. So what do I have to roll now? Oh, there's no roll for that. One. Oh, no roll for that one. Yeah, rolling is only for uh, stealth or manipulation. Oh. So what do I do now that I've launched the dominance attack? I just pick one. So now, well, you would have five damage coming your way if you're attacking the council. And I would have two damage coming Happy high. Place right now. I remember yes. So before making the dominance attack, just consider the entire option. I like, guess I'll withhold on that for right now. And yes. Your move. Okay. So get there, get those guys, I'll get six power. Because six is my new highest. Yeah. I think in this case we're going to put built for war on uh, trick. Mm -hmm. Just gonna cost all six power. And that's gonna give him plus one might, will, and blood. So he's got seven health and then now five will and five might. Oh. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Let's go dominance attack with all these guys. Oh god, just you Tor win. <laughs> Those gonna be towards There's just death. Yeah, we're gonna go towards your um, your council. Okay. So you can still use these guys to block in. If you do I'll be able to deal one more damage because I have more morale. I'm than not you. going to because I know it's going to cost me the long run, so I'm going to hold up on that and I'll take the hit. Taking taking the blood bath. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. So it'll be exactly enough to kill him. Yep. And I'll take three. See, look, it's like one ship kill with three rats. It's actually, I, I predict the game. I'll put it in. One here, one here, and one here. So I'll kill both of those guys, right, and then I, gone. I get to add them to one of my strategies. Oh, jeez. So in this case, I'll just start it over here, because it's not going to matter. Mm. Oh, no, this is still in. Oh. Yep. Okay. You just don't have any guys there. Okay. <laughs> 
And now, um, because I did yeah, more damage two. down to two, I'm gonna make a leadership challenge. One. You spin, put it down to one. And I'll be good for this turn. All right. I think we're gonna call it there because I, I know in the next turn I'm going to get massacred. <laughs> Maybe, because you can actually win the game. I can win the game. Yep, if you are successful on your two stealth attacks. I'll give it one more turn, I'll see what happens. Let's see if we get these stealth attacks. I'm getting two, so okay, I'm back in the game. On top of that, I can't block a dominance attack, so if you come over and pound a couple of these guys, oh, you wouldn't deal more damage than All right, those. so I'm stealth attacking, so I need to go higher than a three or four. So if you're using Jacko, you need a two or better. All right. If you're using Job, you need a three or better. If you roll a one, I'm gonna whip you across the cut with four. Two! There you go. So, <laughs> spins taken, enough damage to kill it. You can add that to a strategy chain. All right. And then... And this will go down one. one. Now you gotta roll a two or better. Two! Of oh, course man. you did. Of course you did. <laughs> Okay, so I can't do Bupkis because that does nothing. So what happens now? Because I'm not gonna go. I'm not going near that. <laughs> yep. If you leave this unattended to, you, you're gonna lose that final domain strike. Probably doesn't matter. To yeah, you. not really. No. And then you would be down to two domains, I would be down to one. Next turn, all you have to do is stealth attack once to win. Yep. So you would have it on your next turn, because you're going to be able to survive to it. I can get rid of this, but... So boom, as soon as you do that, I attack again with her. Boom. Well, it's if I roll the two, but let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, man. Go for it. Hit me again. Yep. So... Just destroy... Just, 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 just death. Here you go. <laughs> Oh, that's that was mine. Oh, it was all okay. So six. Yeah, that's now. This is totally a zero. Now this is toast. I think we are just gonna roll over and hit the. All right, so hit these guys. These guys, because it'll be another ten, and I'll have three coming back this way. So I drop down to a four. Yep. All right, so I dropped to a four there. It's definitely going to kill those guys. Oh, they're toast, okay. And then these three I'll be able to put there, there, there. All right, so my last chance. Um, I need a two to win. Oh, that's game. <laughs> well, if you're using Jacko, you need a one to win. Oh, one to win, oh. Because he's got plus one to his rolls. If you somehow magically stand up on an edge, just like... Two! So there you go. Boom! So the damage would happen, you drop this down, I would lose my I second win. of three, and there's your win. Okay, that was a good yep. game, dude. That was addictive. <laughs> no, I'm close enough to, to sweep you for having Yeah, you could have got me another time. Some of the cards I'm trying to look at, I'm like, okay, these are okay, but I'm like, some of these aren't as useful as I thought. I still gotta learn how to use them properly, but I was like, this actually was addictive. Because I'm just like, okay, this strategy, that strategy, I'm going to use this card, that card, these don't really help me right now, they're all dead. So, this actually is very intriguing, I'm actually kind of impressed. So, uh, yeah guys, a little video, because, you know, Draco's been filming this whole time, so uh, that was the gameplay for the game. I mean, honestly, this is addictive, so check them out, get yourself a copy, and uh, challenge me to it. I will win, maybe, possibly, who knows. <laughs> so, man, thank you so much, that was great. Absolutely. <laughs>